What up, peeps? I have a huge life update for you guys. This is really exciting. I finally found an apartment in New York City. I don't know if you guys realize this, but I was living in a hotel for an entire year. Today I'm gonna share with you the most exciting room because I am going to have a mural painted on this wall in my living room. It's gonna be so dope. This is my girl, Lady J Day. She's like a famous muralist and she's here in my living room gonna do a sick mural. She's from France. She lived in New York for six years. She's done murals all over the world. Where have you done them? I've done murals like in uh, France where I'm from, like uh, Bordeaux, Paris, Europe, Italy, London, Bristol, China, Korea, wow. Dubai, <laughs> the US. Tons America. in New York all the time. Yeah. She's, go she's constant. Follow her on Instagram, okay? You better follow her. She's sick. Just keep up with her work. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. She's here on Photoshop because my vision that I had was to make the Statue of Liberty and to put my eyes on it. But I didn't want it to be my entire face because I just think, I kind of feel like it's a little bit weird and, and conceited to have my own face on the wall. So I thought like maybe like a little piece of me, which would be my eyes. She has the Statue of Liberty and she has my image and she's kind of like combining the two. She's saying I should put my face on the wall. I don't know, guys. I think you should. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks so cool. Look at this. I love this. She has it projected on the wall. It's funny though, because it's so big. <laughs> I think we should do it a little smaller. Can you show them for reference what the other picture looked like? Guys, look, it looks kind of like smushed. It's funny looking. Now that I see it, I agree. What's the verdict? What are we doing here? Let's do this one. When I, I like know. add like my touch and like some color, so like it looks inspired by you, but like not like. Uh... This is so interesting. She said she would teach me one day. That'd be awesome. Look at uh, Lady J Day's dope mask. Here we go! exhausted like I can't even explain how I am gonna paint this room now uh, as you can see like I did the spackle and the priming <laughs> I have to be super careful above the mural I'm afraid to tape the mural because just in case I don't want to peel anything off day by day my painting clothes are just getting more and more paint all over them now it's already almost 10 o'clock at night but I'm gonna keep going because I want to get this done <laughs> respect the artist <laughs> Can't tape it. I'm going to ruin it. I belong, I belong to you. a great idea to share with you some of Lady J Day's artwork. So I came to the studio so I could show you a lot of her amazing talent. Let's check it out. So this is one of Lady J Day's favorite paintings. So that's a painting of Niana uh, Itari, which is an activist from New York. She started Freedom March New York. A tribute to uh, Jesse Miller, who is a uh, activist who did Freedom March New York with uh, Niara Idari. It's a portrait of her uh, M.I.A. She's like a singer from London. I love like her music, her style, she's an activist too. I love to paint like uh, inspiring woman. What I really love about her artwork is for one, she's really good, obviously, but I think it's so cool. The eyes, she makes eyes pop and they're so beautiful. Like, look at that, it's amazing. And that was what made me feel like I thought it would be a good idea to have my eyes on the mural that she painted for me. 
And then it turned out that we did the whole face. Yeah, the whole face was even better. Amanda and Gien, she's an activist, victim of sexual assault, and she changed the law. She's like really amazing and inspiring, so I wanted to tribute her. She designed a makeup collection? That was the... Wow, that is so cool. And your name's on it. Guys, oh, make sure you follow her, Lady J Day. She's like so talented around the world. <laughs> so cool so I had to show you some real-life murals we just walked up this she painted oh my god it's so sick lady J day don't forget the name <laughs> the menu they wanted the menu <laughs> that's so cool there's one more in Brooklyn who's this just like in my imagination if you guys ever see her art tag her because she always reposts guys we thought it would be a great idea to do a giveaway exclusive for you guys exclusive. so yes it's very exclusive because no one else is gonna have this we're gonna give away five prints of the actual mural on my wall that you guys can have and i'll mail it to you and we will like both sign it yes like so it's super exclusive. We're gonna sign it. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you engage on the post that she's on. Let us know that you're interested in the giveaway. We're gonna pick five people and I'll send it to you. This is the most exciting part. She's doing the finishing touches on the mural. I have fresh white and I wanted this to be part of the mural. I asked the professional here, does she recommend painting the outlet cover or not? And she said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Good, actually. Yeah. When you're done your paintings and you sit back to look at what you've created, what do you think about? I just like to look at it like if it's good satisfaction of what you made. And I'm so happy that you put all your ideas together because yeah. like Throughout this entire process, as she was creating it, I'm here looking at every piece of it and I'm like so excited that she made my vision come more to life than I even imagined. Like you saw I started with that little sketch that I drew. Actually, I wanted to explain to them like what, oh, the, yeah. what the meaning was. Here, I just wanted to tell you guys about the meaning behind this entire mural and why I chose everything. It's basically my transition from Philly to New York and my love for both of the cities. This building in particular is City Hall in Philly and I love this building. My father used to work here, I always would tell you guys. And it was also my favorite building because it's so beautiful and I love the architecture. My dad did specific work on the top of here with William Penn and I wanted to place it next to the love sign in Philly because it's like with my dad and my love for the whole city. And the eagle here is to re represent my father looking down on me as well as his love for the Philadelphia Eagles in a sense. These three buildings here, I used to be able to see them out my view in my window in my Philly condo. So I love those three, Liberty One, Two, and the Pyramid Building. Statue of Liberty, you already knew the story about me being on here. Didn't think I was gonna be on it, but Lady JJ convinced me. <laughs> but she's amazing at doing eyes. You killed that. Also, Ben Franklin Bridge. I love the bridge, I used to run on it. The Brooklyn Bridge because I love this bridge as well. I wanted a New York bridge. My little cousin comes to the apartment to visit me sometimes and he loves this bridge, so I thought it would be cool to put that one. These three buildings, iconic in New York. This is the Chrysler Building. My uncle, who I visit in New York, would always give me knowledgeable history of New York and I just remember him specifically talking about the Chrysler Building, so yeah. Oh, and she put the J, one of the J subway for me. Jet. <laughs> but Lady J Day, guys, she killed it! And you're lucky enough to also have a piece of this beautiful creation. If you want it, follow Lady J Day on Instagram. Look for the post that we're gonna put up for you to enter the giveaway if you want one of these.